One of my favorite things in the world to do is watch Friends. I know it's been off for years and years. It's not even around, but I still find myself binge watching old episodes. And I was thinking about this today and thinking it's the predictability of the friends in the circle, right? You have Chandler with his quirkiness, Monica with her type A of just everything has to be so neat and tidy and organized. It's Phoebe's ability to make you laugh at her silly songs. Ross always comes in with those smart comments and Joey and him and his food, like it is just so hilarious. And of course, Rachel, she just brings everybody together and it's just such this beautiful, cohesive team of people. And it's why I wanted to come on and share with you today that I have an opportunity for you to find your friends in the content creation space. So if you are thinking about creating your first or your next digital course, I don't want you to miss this opportunity because Amy Porterfield just opened the doors for registration for her course, Confident Bootcamp. And I'm actually offering a special bonus for anyone that registers for the course Course Confident Bootcamp through my special link. So I want you to go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register. That's crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And what you're going to find when you get there is I have this special bonus private podcast series. It's called Money Mindset for Creators. So I want you to go register for Amy's bootcamp download the podcast and immediately start listening to it because what this training is set up to do is to help you get your mind right about monetizing your content, making money so that you can fuel your content creation dreams. So go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp to register for course confident. And I cannot wait for you to find your friends and find the people that will be there for you. Do you see what I did there? Yeah. Nice little friends segue connection. Go to crystalprofit.com forward slash Amy dash bootcamp. And I cannot wait to see you inside. Okay. Let's get into today's episode. Customer journey, audience journey, content marketing journey. All of these phrases can be used interchangeably, but they have one thing in common. They're a journey. And the definition of journey, I know you're like, Crystal, are you really going to tell me? Yes, I'm going to tell you the definition of journey is the act of traveling from one place to another. It's simple enough, right? We all are like, "Mm, I know what that was, but what does that have to do with your content? Or what does that look like whenever it's applied to your content? This is what I want you to think about today. And um, you're going to say, Crystal, I knew you were kind of a marketing nerd. Um, We're going for a giant marketing nerd today because I'm going to take you on a journey, maybe even an adventure through content marketing. You see what I did there? So let's get right to it. Welcome to The Profit Podcast, where we teach you how to start, launch, and market your content with confidence. I'm your host, Crystal Profit, and I'm so excited that you're here. Thanks for hanging out with me today, because if you've been trying to figure out the world of content creation, this is the show that will help be your time-saving shortcut. So let's get right to it, shall we? All right, I wanted to start off today's episode really with a disclaimer because I get asked all the time, like, Crystal, how much of what you create is scripted versus just an outline? There's a lot of scripting today. <laughs> and maybe you're like, why are you why are you telling me this? Like, why are you – y'all know I love sharing behind the scenes. I love sharing the things that are happening behind the scenes, and you'll understand in a second why a lot of this is scripted. Um, obviously what I'm talking about right now isn't part of it, but I just wanted to share that just kind of in full transparency because it's going to keep us on track for what we're going to do in a second. All right. So you're like, what is actually happening today? Don't worry, buckle up. This is going to be a fantastic episode because we're talking about content marketing strategy and the different 
funnels and journeys, and I like to call them adventures that you're going to take your audience on. So if you're a regular listener to the show, then you're going to be familiar with the concepts of a marketing funnel or content strategy. We actually have um, two episodes that I'll link to in the show notes, episode 350 and then episode 368, where we talk about creating a content marketing funnel and then how to build a better funnel. Like these are foundational to what you need to understand, whether you're creating podcast episodes, YouTube videos, blog posts, like whatever kind of content you're creating, you need to understand these. Even if you don't have a product to sell today, even if you don't have a strategy in place to make it all happen, you need to understand these from the foundational piece because most likely, I'm gonna go ahead and call it, 99% of you are using your content to attract people into a one-day funnel, or when I say one-day, like one day you'll have a funnel built out, not necessarily a one-day funnel. But I want you to be thinking about these things because they're so important. They're gonna be so important to your journey, whether you're just getting started or if you've been creating content for a while and you've never considered any of these things, then you're welcome because today is going to help you so much, so, so much in putting strategies in place, thinking about your content differently. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But I'm gonna put those, the the episodes I mentioned in the show notes. So you can go back for a refresher if those concepts are just brand new, you've never heard of them, or maybe you've heard of them and you're like, I don't really don't know what they mean. Go back and listen to those. Or if you just want to go back and listen to um, me being more of a marketing nerd, yeah, go listen to those because I, I do it really well. The, the nerdiness really shines in those. But I want to take a step back from how you can customize your content, right? Because in some of those other episodes, I go really deep into the weeds of what a marketing funnel looks like, how you can create it, the ins and outs. I share visual examples, actually. So if you go to the show notes of those episodes, you'll see what my content marketing funnel has looked like in the past. It may have changed slightly, but um, it's actually like a drawing, which is really funny. So you, you gotta go check it out just for the drawing. But it's one of those things that you need to have this established, you need to. And it's not something that is necessarily taught. I don't really even teach this in like profit podcasting when I'm teaching you how to get your podcast started. I don't call it all of the things that we're talking about today. I don't talk about the journey as much because that's a beginner program. That's something that's just showing you how to start a podcast, how to launch a podcast, how to market a podcast, like basically just get the thing up and running, right? We're building the platform. We're laying the foundation. This is the part where if you were having like a one-on-one coaching session with me, I would say, okay, what are they going to do after they find your podcast? Like if you've been podcasting for like what's next? And those are some of the things that we're going to walk through today. But my goal is for you to walk away from this episode knowing how to visualize your content marketing journey. All right, and I know this is a podcast. You're like, Crystal, you just said visualize and um. We're, this is an audio experience. Like I'm listening to you while I'm driving in the car or you're on a walk, you're working out, you're doing the dishes, you're folding laundry. Like you are doing something that doesn't require you to look at your phone, right? You probably have it in your pocket, in your purse, in like just somewhere. I mean, if you're like me, if I'm driving, I have it up on my like dashboard, the little, um, it's like the the mount, you know, where you can like, it's magnetic and I can set my phone on it. And it's usually got Google drive or, you know, Google maps, whatever Google drive. That's not the right thing. I meant Google maps or Apple maps, whichever one is working better for, you know, me that day, I will put it on there and I just turn on my podcast and I just listen to it. So maybe that's what you're doing today. But when I say visualize, I want you to just stick with me here because we're going to do a meditation. Okay. I'm going to walk you through a meditation of sorts of a content marketing journey. 
And then we'll talk about a little bit about what you could do to optimize or improve what you already have. Deal? Okay, (laughs) I'm not a meditation expert, so this is a first for me. Okay, I've never done this before, but we all have to start somewhere, right? Like I'm taking my own advice um, and you don't have to close your eyes for this, especially if you're driving or exercising. You're like, Crystal, I don't meditate. This is not my thing. Well, just, just bear with me here, okay? Don't hurt yourself if you're driving or doing something. You don't have to close your eyes. But if you're in a safe space and you feel comfortable, I do encourage it because it will help you take your focus off of everything else. It will keep you from looking at multiple things at one time. Or if you're like, you're multitasking, you're doing something else. Like I really want you to be present in this moment because what I'm going to walk you through are probably things that you haven't thought about before, or maybe you've thought about them very briefly, and then it's like gone in a split second, and you're just like, oh yeah, I meant to look that up, and I never did. I thought about that six months ago, and I still haven't done it. So I really want you to just be very present in thinking about your audience, thinking about your content, thinking about the goals that you have. Maybe it could be goals over the next 12 months. It could be goals over the next five years. But I really, really just want you thinking about what you want your content to be. Okay. So if you have your eyes closed, that's fantastic. If you don't, that's cool too. But the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to imagine that Genesis moment when someone discovers who you are and what you're all about. So where is that in your mind? Is it someone finding you on Instagram or a Google search or maybe a dance that you're doing on TikTok or maybe you're speaking from the stage or being interviewed on someone's podcast? Where are people finding you? I want you to really think about that because if you're brand new to this, you're like, well, Crystal, no one's finding me anywhere because I haven't launched. I haven't put this out. Put all of that aside and just say, this is where I want to be found, right? If you're not sure, it's okay. You can think about what this journey can look like once your content is more established And much of my audience finds my content first on YouTube or Google search. So I want you to just think about all the different ways that people can find your content. Being a woman in business comes with its own unique set of challenges, but also so many opportunities. We get ahead by leaning in to what makes us different from business as usual. I'm Samantha Hartley, host of Profitable Joyful Consulting, inviting you to a special six-episode series exploring the experience of being a woman in business. You want to hear from women consultants who've hit a million dollars, who sell six-figure engagements, or who've broken their own revenue ceilings? Yeah, those are my clients, and they'll be sharing too. Join me for six must-listen episodes that tackle key challenges for women consultants. Follow Profitable Joyful Consulting on your favorite podcast app. And now imagine this person is brand new to you and your content. They've never heard of you before. But now what? Now what happens? They've stumbled upon you. Now what? Do they go to your social accounts? Do they jump over to your website? Do they find your podcast or watch your YouTube videos? This is really where the journey begins. Because as much as you might think, it's all chance of what someone does next after they find me, you have so many opportunities to influence every step of a content marketing journey. So let's imagine this. Let's say someone found you from that origin that you were thinking about earlier. 
And then let's say they go to your website. Now what? They join your email list. Now what? They learn about your podcast. Now what? Maybe they join your online community. Now what? They buy your product. Now what? They become an advocate of your brand. Now what? It's a game of constantly putting yourself in the shoes of your audience or potential customers. And I want you to ask yourself, what do I want them to do from here? Where should they go next? Does the path or journey I'm sending them on make sense? You have to see your content from their perspective. Otherwise, how will you know where things can improve or be optimized? Or where the journey no longer makes sense and people are dropping out of your funnel? So I want you to take a second and really just imagine what could this look like for your content? What are the things that you need to do in the next 30 days, 60 days, 90 days to really impact the journey? How can you make it better? How can you make it easier? How can you make it where people are excited every single step of the journey? Every time they get to that path where they're saying, now what? Is it clear what they should do? Now, if you've had your eyes closed, you can open them again. I know you're probably like, okay, that was, that was you know, interesting to close your eyes. And I encourage you, okay, this is like your assignment after this. I encourage you to write a sticky note and put it up on your computer, put it on your desk, it's just somewhere close to you that says, now what? Because I want it to be a reminder that you're looking for that next move you want your audience to make. And you need to have those right calls to action and processes in place to make those moves happen. And now I wanna tell you real fast uh, a quick story about some recent content audits that I've been doing. So um, whenever I launched Radical Repurposing last year, there was first day buyer's bonus where I was giving away a free content on it for the people that signed up on day one. And as I've been doing these and concluding them, I can see very clearly that y'all are working so hard. You're putting so much effort into making beautiful websites and having awesome content for your email list or your social post, or you're you're just working so hard so hard in trying to make this incredible experience for your audience. And I want to commend you for that. I want to say, like, keep it up. That is incredible. But what I've also seen is it kind of stops at one point, whether it's going from your content on a podcast, content in a live stream, content on a YouTube video, like there's a point where you get to, you're sending people somewhere and then there's not necessarily a now what for them to go on. It's kind of a free for all. And I can tell you from being a marketer for so long that you can't leave it up to chance. And I've done exercises where I will literally write out, I actually have, um, if you can use a tool like Canva or Miro or Visio, like something that will actually create a visual map, like a representation of a customer journey, then you can literally put like, okay, they're going to go from my podcast to the website, to my email list, to my product. And 
all you can do is lay it out. You can't guarantee that that's always going to be the journey that someone goes on or that it's going to be the funnel that represents 100% of your audience. But if you don't have a roadmap, period, if you don't have an idea of what your people are doing once they find you, once they get into your orbit, once they join your community. Like if you don't know what those next steps are, then how can we assume they know what to do? This is a really, really big deal. And I hope that this is really hitting home for you because I see this happen so often that we don't ask these questions It's assumed that, well, people just know, they know to get on my email list because it's there, like it's on my website. Well, but do you ask them to do it? Or do they know to join your Facebook group? Do they know that you want them to follow you on Instagram? And no, just putting the Instagram logo at the footer of your website doesn't mean you're asking them to do it. It just means that it's there, that they have that option. But if that's really what you want them to do, if your goal is to go from, you know, 100 people on Instagram following you to 10,000, well, we got to push that up in the priority list. Or if you're wanting people to get on your email list, then that needs to be everywhere. That should be your call to action. Get on my email list, download my freebie, join, you know, whatever that looks like for your content. But if you're not asking these questions, how are people going to know what the now what is? I really want you to think about this because this could be a game changer. When people tell me, I want to grow my audience, I want to, you know, have millions of followers, thousands of followers, I always ask them, well, what if you woke up tomorrow and you did? Would your funnel, your journey, support the fact that you got a million people? Let's imagine that. A million people of traffic hit your website tomorrow. Is your website prepared to navigate them to where they actually need to go? Is it? If you're like, Crystal, I don't even have a website. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> this, is, this is something I deal with a lot of like, you know, podcasters and YouTubers will say, I don't even have a website. That's okay. That's okay. I think that we can get there. But I think it's really important that we don't just ask for huge audiences if we can't serve the ones that are right in front of us today. The ones that are trickling in from a podcast guest that you did, you know, a year ago or a TV spot appearance that you had six months ago. Like, I really want you to think about How can I serve each and every person that's coming into my orbit and make sure that there's a journey laid out that makes sense? That's really what I want to come down to. Like, this is why I didn't want to tell you this is how you need to have your funnel because it's going to look so different for everybody. Everybody. Your funnel is going to look different than mine, than Susie Q's, than John Smith's. Like, everybody's, it's going to look so different. But I want you to think about it because at the end of the day, the worst thing that could happen is it's just never thought about and people are not converting to being a regular listener. They're not staying in your communities. They're not hanging around long enough to really get to know you and love your content and the important messages that you're sharing. Oh my gosh, this was such a fun exercise. (laughs) I love a meditation and I actually need to do them more often. Um, This was like a quick one. I felt like that last, you know, few minutes wasn't even a meditation. Maybe some of you are like, okay, I still have my eyes closed, but now you're awake. (laughs) Now that I've like kind of turned up the volume a little bit more. But if you enjoyed this today, I want to know, because like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this and I've actually thought about doing some more of these really marketing-led meditations. I know that sounds a little silly, 
But I've done plenty of meditations where they're goal oriented, they're meant to inspire or motivate me. And I don't know that we do this enough for marketing or our content. And I think about it the way professional athletes, like if, if you've ever heard like, you know, basketball players or football players or people that are thinking about their game, I think about Michael Phelps, right? He had this very, very strategic approach to everything that he did in his swimming career. And he would talk about the visualization, like spent so much time visualizing what was happening, visualizing being on the podium, winning that gold medal and like all these things. And I think that it's so important and it's such an easy thing to do. It doesn't require you investing millions of dollars or hundreds of dollars or even a single dollar to sit there and think about what is the journey? What do I want it to be? Now what? So if you enjoyed this today, please let me know. Send me a DM on Instagram and let me know what you think. I'd actually love it if you take a screenshot where you're listening to this, tag me and write, like put in the caption, like, now what? So I know that you did this meditation with me. And that might sound a little aggressive or confuse people. I started thinking about this. It's almost like antagonistic, right? Like you're going to tag me and be like, now what? Like someone's saying like they're about to fight. Now what? But I want you to think about it like you're fighting for your audience's attention. If they don't know what that next step is on their journey, then they may not see the reason to hang out with you, to stay with you, to continue listening to you, watching you, consuming your content. So I want you to ask the question, now what? Now what? What's the next step for your content marketing journey? But that's all I have for you today. So again, if you enjoyed this, send me a DM on Instagram. I cannot wait. I hope that so many of you, like I'm crossing my fingers right now that you you really enjoyed this because this was super fun. And uh, I think I'm going to do some more of this kind of stuff in the future. But that's all I have for you today. So make sure you're subscribed or following the podcast wherever you're listening. And as always, remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere. Hey, Profit Podcast listeners, thanks for sticking around to a little bit after the episode to hear this special message because I want to hear from you. We are starting a new segment called Fan Mail Shoutouts, and I want to hear from you and I want to hear your questions. What do you want to know? What questions have you been dying to ask me? So here's how to make this happen. Go to the app where you're listening to this podcast right now. Go there. I'll wait a second. Okay. Now, once you're there, you're going to see a hyperlink at the top of the episode description that says, send Crystal a text message. And that's all I want you to do. Send me a text. It could be casual, informal. It could be totally anonymous. Or if you want, you can include your name and the name of your podcast or content, wherever you are creating. And I will give you a special shout out in an upcoming episode. So again, go to the show notes for where you're listening to this episode right now. And it will say, send Crystal a text message. And I cannot wait to hear from you and give you a shout out in an upcoming segment of fan mail shout outs.